It is some kind of race if not a full-blown fight to control our mind. Dear Christian brothers and sisters God bless you all. Please remember being Christian is not mean to be docile, to be an ignorant and to tolerate what the non-Christians want to force on you. Some people will tell you oh is just money comma. Just invest and forgot about that money comma. The question whose money is that they talk about? Whose life is they talk about? Because see taxes and fees are suctioning of life force, from us taxpayers, is our time, is our energy and our salary that is stolen. So now is looming in the air the following question. Who's ready for the $6 trillion pension implosion that could shake retirees nationwide? How is that sound to you, hard worker Christians? Because in 2012, Consumer Reports penned an article about the serious underfunding affecting the pensions of both private and public sector employees. In it, they warned that workers in both categories might not get everything they've earned. The article did assure private sector workers that being vested meant their pension assets were guaranteed by federal law, unless their employee went bankrupt, or the pension plan had been terminated. That was when the Pension Guarantee Benefit Corporation, PBGC, a federal government pension insurer, would come in and at least pay a portion of an employee's vested interest. But the PBGC wasn't in too great a shape. At that time, it was underfunded by $740 billion. City, county, and state government employees don't get rescued by the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation. Neither does anyone in the military, those working in religious institutions or those holding defined contribution plans like a 401k, profit sharing plan, IRA, and others. According to Consumer Reports, pensions of local and state public sector employees, think of teachers, firefighters, municipal workers, et.al, are generally protected by state constitutions or laws. Back in 2012, these public employee pensions were in a $1 trillion hole. Fast forward to 2016 and this pension deficit has increased exponentially, regardless of historic stock market highs. According to MarketWatch.com in 2016, local and state government employee pensions are facing a gap of $6 trillion in benefits already earned and not yet paid for. This is devastating news for working people who have had an inherent trust in a system that would provide a secure retirement after years of hard work, consistent savings, and employer contributions. A $6 trillion gap, according to MarketWatch.com is due to the misguided projections of the actuarial model used. It seems that those folks doing the numbers have forgotten the fundamentals of risk versus reward, a foundational plank of financial planning. Instead, calculations about what a pension plan owes its current and future pensioners ignores the long-term market risk of investments and just counts on returns for risky investments before they happen. A Fiscal Times report from 2015 highlights a number of states besieged by this dilemma of unfunded pensions. In some instances, it appears that the local taxpayer may end up being on the hook. Illinois could be looking at tax increases of $145 billion. Phoenix had to find $276 million in 2015 to pay for civilian and public safety pensions. New York was preparing to defer pension payments to the tune of $1 billion and since 2010, as reported by Fiscal Times, New York state and municipalities have skipped $3.3 billion in pension payments. And yet we are working for free approximate half of our working career, do you see it? Do you know that pensioners are taxed too? And all kind of our money goes into non-Christian projects and applications as anti-gravity research from Nikola Tesla and is being used in covered military projects, so Nikola Tesla's discoveries and inventions, 
It has been reported that Boeing and Lockheed two of the largest and most successful military industrial contractors in the country have been using Tesla's anti-gravity concepts to try and develop flying machines for the United States military. While there is no hard evidence to speak of at this time, most of these events remain completely under wraps for years if not decades before they are eventually revealed to be truth. Given Tesla's significance and the military's desire to constantly stay ahead of the curve, it wouldn't be all that surprising to discover that Boeing and Lockheed have been using the research for a technological edge on the competition. Regardless of where you stand when it comes to both war and the military-industrial complex, there's no denying that we're living in terrifying times when it comes to the way countries battle each other. What was once fought with muskets and bayonets is now being fought with drones and, potentially, anti-gravity devices. Even worse, it's not just the wartime issues we have to worry about when it comes to the anti-gravity technology. Anti-gravity, first and foremost would make petrol-guzzling cars, crumbling electric grids, and other outdated and dirty fuels a total waste of time. Anti-gravity, as Nikola Tesla made clear, would make space flight to other heavenly bodies as simple as driving your car to a nearby city, today. We're venturing closer to a dystopian future with every passing day, and using Tesla's technologies recklessly could leave us all in trouble. As the old adage goes, with great power comes great responsibility. Nikola Tesla's research and creations provide all of us with great power. It is our own responsibility to use them for good instead of evil. Knowing how the so-called elites work and what they want is clear nothing they touch is good, Tesla's discoveries being hidden so we population to not have some free energy now and our livelihood is stolen so we are in artificial, non-constitutional and non-Christian state of oppression and poverty, and these are the evil's way to soften and weaken us Christians. Let's try to regain our freedom, our personal sovereignty, let's regain the balance in the society on the information front too. God and God's Son Jesus Christ our Savior, bless you all. It is some kind